It is now 4.30 in the morning and this is usually when I get my day started. So if you're looking interested in seeing how I do my morning skincare routine, stick around and stay tuned. This is when I start my morning routine by washing my face with the Dermafill and I will leave the link below to all the products that I am using. But I usually wash my face once with the Dermafill um, Vegan Face Wash. Now what I'm going to do is go in with my Bior and my Planet brush, my Vanity Planet brush. You all know I live by this brush. It makes my face feel so, so, so good. So I do this about one to two minutes with my Bior um, facial um, scrub. And this usually helps me go ahead and finalize getting my face clean and clear, ready for the morning. I know you guys probably think I'm crazy because I get up every morning at 4.30. But you have to also realize I do go to bed early. I go to bed with the chickens. So listen, when you go to bed early, you can rise early. That's how I'm most productive in a day. Like a little energizing bunny. But I love to keep my skin as clear as possible, clean as possible. Because I'm starting to wear makeup. Not that much, but I'm trying to do a little bit. But a great way to have good foundation for your makeup <clears throat> is your skincare routine. And you guys, excuse my mean mug face. I don't know why I always look mean like that. I'm trying to practice more on, I smile a lot all the time. But when I'm like in deep thought, it's like my face always have that little mean look on it. So just overlook that I'm working on that you guys but I am now washing my face rinsing my face off And now what I like to do once I get my face clean is I go in with my toner, my Witch Hazel Rose Petal Toner. And I like to wipe my ears down because you all know in the back of your ears, if you are not cleaning that, oh my goodness, the smell is not cute. But then I go down around my neck because um, I want to make sure my neck is clean and all of that. So I do that with my cotton rounds. Um, like I said, all of the products that I am using, they can be found in the description below. And I usually follow um, follow up with um, after I do my neck and stuff. I follow it up with uh, some Q-tips and clean out my ears.
Now, after I'm done with that, I usually get ready to brush my teeth. And today happens to be the day that I am out of my um, arm and hammer. But wait, go back. I didn't moisturize my face. Ah, went ahead of myself. But I was, as you can see, I was struggling. I'm almost out of my Cetaphil um, lotion. So I mixed that with my vitamin C serum. And that usually helps my skin stay moisturized, moisturized and hydrated throughout the day. So I mix that a few drops inside of my moisturizer and I go ahead and um, put it all over my face and my neck. It really does help my skin, you guys. The older you get, you really have to take good care of your skin because you only get one. So that is what I pretty much do and just... Just enjoy rubbing my face, you guys, especially when it's so clean and, and soft. Yep, see, I'm a happy camper right there, you guys, when my face is clean. And now I'm off to brushing my teeth. And today I'm using Colgate because I am out of my favorite toothpaste, which is the Arm & Hammer. But hey, as long as I got some toothpaste in the house, and I always use my Crest mouthwash first, I go ahead and rinse my mouth there. I try to always um, gargle for at least one to two minutes. Gargle real good. And then I go ahead and start brushing my teeth. I usually brush them for a good one to two to three minutes, depending on how I'm feeling. But I want to make sure I do a good little round. Because you don't want to be walking around with stinky breath. No, 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 no. That is not the business. Leave me a comment below, you guys, and let me know uh, what's your morning ritual. What's your morning routines in the morning when you get up to start your day? And always brush that tongue, you guys. That's where most of the germs be at. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I always got to follow it up, you guys, with my Vaseline or some type of lip gloss. I don't wear a lot of makeup or lipstick, but I have to have my lips soft. Can't be walking around with no crusty lips. Alrighty, usually when I get through, I like to sit at my desk before I get ready for work. And I like to have my glass of lemon water. And this is where the magic begins. This is where I read my 
daily devotion and the daily devotion that I use is called Jesus Calling. And when I tell you guys, it has, I've been using this for the last seven to eight years. I read it every year. So, um, I read over my daily devotion and I just kind of think and think of things that I'm grateful for and just get, get my mind set for a productive and successful day. And again, don't mind the mean mug. It always look as if I'm looking mean, but I'm not. I promise you guys, I am not mean. I'm one of the most sweetest person in the world. But when I'm concentrating or focus, it looks as if I'm mean mugging you, but I'm not. And then once I'm done reading my devotion, I take my journal out and I read over all of my goals that I have set for myself. Once I start to read my goals, I kind of write down for the day how I'm feeling, how I expect my day to go. This is where I talk to God. I write love letters to God. I talk to him, um, asking him to give me strength for the day. Um, just go through, a, like I said, go through a list of things that I'm most grateful for and really just basically set the tone for the day. You guys, I try to be as honest as I can when I'm writing in my journal because my thoughts are so important to me now more than ever. And it's just my way that I talk to God in the morning. I, I write letters and then, um, once I finish, um, writing my letters, I usually say my prayers, which I, I won't do here on the video, but I usually say my prayers. And then, um, as you will see, once I get through, I usually, um, Yes, you guys, I do write long letters because when I'm talking to God, it's like I have to tell God how I want my day to go, how I am so grateful to be alive, especially during these times. I'm super grateful. My my kids are healthy. My family is healthy. You know, I'm healthy. My neighbors. I just go through a list of things that I'm super, super grateful for and just to really get my mind set in a grateful place, in a positive space. And then it's it's pretty much like if you don't set the tone for your day, oh, the devil will love to bombard your mind with a bunch of negativity. And right now, I don't think we need any more negativity if you've been paying any attention to what's going on in the world. Um, but yeah, this is my little... This is my little time. This is one of the reasons why I get up so early because I like to have that, that one hour in the morning by myself um, without any interruptions. So it seems to work better for me. And then what I do is, like I said, I read over my goals and I just pretty much just, you know, just visualize my goals and I just go into thoughts. Yep. I'm always thinking you guys. It's something about getting up in the morning, reviewing your goals. And I think I got this from, um, the guy that wrote um, so uh, chicken soup for the soul. He wrote the success principles. I can't Jack Canfield. Yeah, I got that principle from him. Like always review your goals in the morning before you get your day started and then review them again before you go to bed. Kind of keep your mind focused on your future goals instead of dwelling on the past. And then, like I said, I just. Think about things that I want to do. Think about things that I want to accomplish for the day. And yeah, that's that's pretty much how my 
morning skincare and routine pretty much goes. If you missed my first um, self-care ritual routine, make sure you check that video out because I show you a lot more in depth of what I do um, in the mornings. But this was mostly catered towards my skincare routine and what I do to prepare um, in the morning. And then I didn't uh, mention, but yes, I do shower in the morning. So I had already taken my shower um, by the time I got through doing this, but yeah, I always shower in the mornings, you guys. But like I said, I set my tones for the day. And then right here, I'm just writing down my affirmations, you know, things that pertain to my space or my life, what I'm doing right now. And I pretty much get ready for my day because my day, uh, with my work from home job starts at seven to three thirty. So, um, ready and excited for my day and, and all the goals that I set to achieve. And then once I'm off, I get to work in my business. So I'm always super, super um, productive and busy. Like I said, I'm more of an early bird person. Um, so I like to really start my day on a great note. Um, So yeah, that's pretty much what I do on a daily basis, um, starting my day off. I'm just preparing my mind and, and preparing my space and energy. And I always like to have a glass of, I call it my lemon water wine because I don't really drink, but I love my lemon water. And it's good to drink that when you first wake up in the morning. So um, right there, as you can see, you know, negative thoughts were trying to bombard my mind. That's why I shook my head and said no. But it's real, you guys. I mean, this is the real deal. You know, if you don't set your tone for the day, I'm telling you guys, you better start getting up in the morning at least 20, 30 minutes before everything starts and set the tone for your day. Otherwise, it will it will be crazy, you guys. So Right here, I just usually have a fruit or something, and then I'll have my breakfast once I take my first break. But right here, you know, I'm just getting myself ready mentally for the day that's ahead of me. Um, I hope you guys um, enjoyed my short um, video on my skincare routine, morning routine. And like I said, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel.